Oh yeah, good morning, good afternoon or good evening. Time for a bit of cooking. It's spicy pork skewers with a spicy moo ping thai type style sauce today. Let's get cooking people. And I hope you got a mortar and pestle because it's much better than a food process and it really gets the flavour into things. Uh, right, let's have a look. We've got brown, soft brown sugar. We've got coriander or cilantro if you're in the States, that sort of thing. We've got black peppercorns, sorry, white peppercorns. We've got honey, uh, corn flour, which you can get anywhere, uh, sunflower oil. Uh, again, a neutral flavoured oil, that's what you want. Then we've got oyster sauce, which, you know, is, again is in the supermarkets. Some superior soy and a few peppers, uh, little chilies, red and green chilli, depending on how hot you like things. And then we've got coriander seeds, they're all good to get at the moment, funny enough. Fish sauce, one of the most common ingredients in any type of Thai Asian food. Some spring onions for garnish and a little bit of flavour. Garlic, of course. Five cloves goes into this one. And lime juice. Uh, uh, I say the full recipe will follow after the uh, video. This is uh, pork fillet from a local supermarket. It's quite inexpensive. Uh, pork tenderloin, it's called in some places, but uh, in the UK, normally British pork fillet. This was reduced only a couple of pounds, so real bargain meal uh, this is going to be now just like making bread pounding with the old mortar is stress relieving and takes any anger of the week out of you uh, and as I said before, it also uh, seems to crush the ingredients better than a, a food processor. So, you know, a couple of minutes and what you want is a little sort of fairly fine paste that you'll see in a minute, the end result. And then uh, when we've got this dry ingredients mixed and pounded, we add the wet ingredients, which again, I'll show you in a little while. Right, so this is what we're looking for, a sort of fairly smooth paste like this. And as I say, uh, in a sec, we'll mix up the wet ingredients, which uh, basically consist of uh, soy sauce, oyster sauce, some vegetable oil, uh, a little bit of fish sauce. Uh, as I say, we'll be posting the full recipe, but it looks like this. It's uh, got some corn flour in to thicken it up. And then when, it, when, when again, it's all mixed in, then we'll add that into that paste that we've just made. And hey, presto. Okay, this is the pork fillet. As you can see, it's got a silver skin that we've got to cut off using a fairly sharp knife because that won't cook out. That skin, that silver colored skin, just slice it off with a sharp knife and job done. Once you've done that, as you can see, just put it onto a cutting board and cut it into reasonable sized chunks, not too small, not too large. Uh, ready to go on some metal or wooden skewers and uh, then we're going to marinate it in our brown marinade and go from there.
Okay, right, now we need some of those food saver bags that you can buy from any of the supermarkets. Put the pork in with the marinade, give it a little shake around, work it with your fingers to really get that marinade in all the grooves of the meat. And we're gonna refrigerate that for three to six hours, basically. Once we've done that, the next thing is to get some metal or wooden skewers. I prefer metal, as shown here. But you can use wooden if you soak them. Thread it onto the skewers, and then uh, this is a look round of some of the other garnishes and ingredients. So I'm doing this with um, some pad thai noodles, uh, with a coconut milk, uh, some peanuts, uh, some spring onions, some coriander, uh, red and green chilies to, uh, as I say, enhance the final look. Um, and so here's what we've got to do. We've got to walk for doing the pad thai noodles and then uh, this is our gas char grill which we're going to put the skewers on in a second and here we go uh, let's get it underway Kind of looking uh, good, eh? I like those marks on the pork. Really, really looks nice. And as I say, not long now till we plate up. And I have to say, this uh, recipe has got to be one of my top five all-time favourites. Really simple. Okay, a little bit of pounding, but look how good the end result. So, it's spicy pork skewers with mooping sauce, pad thai noodles, and wow, that's all you can say. If you want the recipe, I'll leave the, my address to PM me, and I hope if you try it at home, you really enjoy it. That's all, folks. Thanks for watching.